masculine shoulders, two-thirds of this network's female demographic. I cover the other third. He plays Dr. Derek Shepard on Grey's Anatomy, which airs Thursdays at 9 on ABC. Please welcome Patrick Dempsey. <laughs> Hey, uh, I heard you bought a chain of coffee stores. Is that true? Yes, in Seattle, Tully's Coffee. Tully's Coffee. I know Tully's yeah. Coffee. I used to live in Seattle. Uh -huh. and I love the city. The city's great. Oh, it's a great city. And but you own the chain of coffee. Yeah, we uh, we we bought the the coffee company and uh, get ready to turn around a little bit. This seems yes. like a great way to lose all your money. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly helps stay out of there. Uh, that and uh, car racing, those two combined. Do you, you drink a lot of coffee? Money. I do. I How do. much do you coffee do you drink? Five to ten cups a day. <laughs> wow. Well, so like, well, a lot of it's research, too. It's a good thing you can buy a, like a <laughs> pizza bounce chain. Around all the time. I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, you weigh 800 pounds. Well, that's a lot of coffee. Yeah, you know, uh, but, yeah. So it's, it makes sense. I enjoy it. I like it. I would think so. It would be fun to own something like that. Oh, mm -hmm. I want to be a barista. So it'd be fun to go into the different stores, right? Who's a barista? Are you a barista? You know what would be a fun thing for you to do is to go on the show Undercover Boss <laughs> and see if you can, <laughs> see if you can somehow pull that uh, off. Yeah. Are, you, are you like actually working and coming up with ideas? Well, once we the... finish the season, we're two uh, shows from finishing our And then you'll season. jump right in. And then I want to go and study for like a month. I think I could help you with this because I have a lot of good ideas. You I do. mean, I just walk around the store and I could come up with things. You just troubleshoot for us. Are you doing change it? that? Any things? Do uh, you have anything like planned that's that's exciting? I uh, certainly want to redesign the stores and stuff like that, the interior. Do you serve food at Kelly's? Uh, there is food served there. Because I have an idea that I, I will give to you if Yo, you please, like. please, uh, let me get a pen. Let me write all this down. You'll remember it. Don't worry. Okay. Coffee, <laughs> coffee bean burritos. <laughs> it's yeah. like a breakfast and a wake up all in one <laughs> shot. That's right. And it's good for your teeth as well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a killer, right? right? Oh, it's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. This could be the thing that makes you billions of dollars. Yeah. And I hope you remember this. I, it, you outbid Starbucks for this company. We did. It was uh, up for uh, the company was in bankruptcy, and I've never done this experience before. Where you go and you basically it's like an auction to buy this company, and you see all these corporate people coming in, very stoic, and then all of a sudden there's the Starbucks people. And when the Starbucks in people in the realize that they go like, okay, yeah, that's too much to pay. Don't you go? Oh no, they know better than I do. Mm -hmm. I better get out of this. Well, yeah, I thought they were going to take it within the first five minutes, and they didn't. They went very slowly through the auction. I, I just got kept you. raising the price up. So you also have a racing team, which you mentioned a second ago. Yes. And, I, and well, I have a couple of photographs I want to ask you about. First of all, <laughs> what's going on here tonight? We're celebrating a, a podium finish uh, and enjoying the champagne after. You <laughs> <laughs> have to dump coffee on each other's yeah. faces when you do this. Yeah. Yeah, it. <laughs> and which race was this? This, this I believe, was uh, Lime Rock, Connecticut. Okay, and your race, you just want a race. I mean, this is like a real race that I've heard of and everything. This, oh, this race here the is the mid 400, right. which is an off road race. It's been around since the late 60s. It's and there you are off road. Mm -hmm. And you actually won this race. In that category, yes, I did. And it was, it was, it was a It's a PC button. Grey's Anatomy cast member <laughs> slash coffee magnates. <laughs> <laughs> was it like a celebrity category? No, no it was not. No. It's a celebrity. Oh, it's just a specific vehicle. Right. Different types, different classes of vehicles. I got it. It's like four or five different classes. You love doing this kind of I stuff. I love it huh? more than anything, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting. It's really challenging uh, mentally and physically and uh, all of that. And, it's and that race is particularly rough. It's dangerous, you're, the whole thing, though, isn't it? Well, the first lap, I could have totaled the car completely because it, it goes from the pavement to the dirt, and I went back onto the pavement, and I'm trying to overtake a, a slower car so I don't get stuck behind it. It starts first thing in the morning, so you can't see anything, so there's always all, all this dust. So you have to stay and kind of push the guy out of the way to get by, so there's an opening on the thing, and the car is really loose because of the suspension, and I lose it, and all of a sudden, like, boom, up off the side, into the desert, back in, boom, blew out of the car, got back on the track, and continued racing. That is crazy. Oh, yeah, I was like, oh, it's just.
just starting. Too. Is this the race that takes like almost a whole day to complete? It took us about six, seven hours. It's, it's six or seven hours. It's a hundred mile lap in the desert. And are you listening to the radio in there, or uh, what's going on? You're listening to your navigator. <laughs> he was here and he's, navigator. he's telling you left or right. And where is he? Is he in the sky? He's right here in this seat next to me. Oh. And he, I. Uh, <laughs> it's not even exciting. I would not want to be in that position. He was not happy with me after that first lap. He was not. Oh, no, really? I went off the road. Almost. Those are the guys get hurt. And then he goes switch, and you're the navigator, and he's. I had another co-driver, Andy Lally, who's a fantastic driver. Um, I see. And it was the first time he's done an off-road race, and he had a great time. So the navigator is essentially your human GPS system yes. in the car yeah. with you, yeah. And yeah. he's giving you, does he do it in that deadpan voice? Uh, yeah, it's depending on how close you are to the edge, yeah. <laughs> but he is, he, I, I don't know why anyone would want to do that, but we had a great navigator. You're into bicycling. Bicycling, cycling, yes. Too. Cycling, yeah. Road cycling. Why do they call it cycling and not bicycling? Well, you do, they call it both. Okay. It but depends on what you prefer. I think it's because cycling sounds cooler. Cycling and bicycling. Yeah, bicycling. It's caught there. But there, yeah, because there are two wheels, so it is bicycling. Cycling, unicycling would be one. You know, between the racing and the <laughs> cycling and the the coffee, you need to slow down. Yeah, that's, <laughs> well, that's why I bought the coffee company. I keep it going. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're gonna take a quick break. Patrick Dempsey is with us. Let's, oh, we will come back. Something I want to ask you about because um, there's a. Uh, a commercial you shot in Mexico. Yes. That, uh, well, we'll show when we come back. Patrick Dempsey, we'll be right back.